the tribulation before the rapture or rapture before tribulation? I want to answer this question this morning, but not as a teacher of the word of God, not as a theologian, not as a pastor, not as mommy G.O. or G.O. himself. But I want to answer it based on the vast revelations of rapture that God has shown to me. By the grace of Almighty God, I have had revelations of rapture about 60 times now because I've had a series of revelations of rapture. So based on my experience that I want to talk about this message, I pray the Lord will speak to your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tribulation will come first before the rapture. The tribulation for the church of God has already begun. The Lord told us we shall be haters of men for his name's sake. If you look at the book of Matthew 24 verse number 9, we shall be haters of men for the sake of Christ. They shall deliver us to the synagogue to be afflicted. If you look at it well, you will know we, the Christians, we have started facing tribulation in the hands of the government compelling people to take the, the vax in against their wish uh, giving people condition that if you don't take it you will not buy you will not sell of course the bible tells us this in the book of revelation chapter 13 verse number 16 commanding both the great and the small to take the mark and those who do not take the mark shall not buy or sell the muslim are hating christian the pagans, some of them, the Buddhists, the Hindus, they don't like Christians. Where they see you preaching the word of God, sometimes people come against you. Uh, the Boko Haram destroy churches. The herdsmen kill Christians. And a lot of things we have been seeing. Many Christians cannot go and stand before the Muslim to speak because they are afraid they will kill them. A lot of killings everywhere. Preaching the gospel is being restricted in some part. If you go to other countries, they can't even carry the Bible openly. These are the persecution. These are the tribulation we are talking about. This one is the small one. So this is the, this is the light tri tribulation, or maybe I should call it the, the, the light tribulation, or the small tribulation. I don't know how to put it. But I know as you are listening, you understand what I'm trying to say. Then after this one, gradually, gradually, things will become tougher and tougher, like prices of things are spirocating. Bag of rice now is 40 something thousand naira, which is more than some people's salary. Things are, are getting tougher and tougher. With some go with just one square meal a day. You can see things are not getting better. The threats of war. Which the Bible says there shall be war, there shall be rumor of war. The threat of being killed while going out to preach the gospel. The Lord say it is the beginning of sorrow. All these will continue, there will be a time to enforce it on the people, on the masses, that you can't do without getting these things. And when you refuse, there will be a penalty for your refusal to comply with the government's demand. It will even be more than what we are seeing now. And things are going tougher and tougher and tougher before you know, bam, the trumpet will sound. Based on my vast revelation, like I said, about 60 times, many of it, I saw that after the rapture, people are being tormented. Like one of the revelations of the rapture that I received, I saw that in this revelation, I missed it. I miss the rapture and the antichrist, they, they stripped me naked, they were using something like a iron to hit me, even my ribs got broken, that I saw myself started pouring out blood through my mouth. They did not even pity me, they keep on hitting me continually, and they even asked me that I should use my bare hand to dig my own grave. And in that revelation, I saw in the spirit that the rapture took place in the month of April. And the, 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 the ground was very uh, strong. 
and I was using my bare hands like this to, to scrap the ground like this. I was digging my grave and the Antichrist were hitting me and they were telling me, continue to dig, you, will, you must dig up to six feet that we are going to use in burying you. How long do you continue this? As I was using my hand to scratch the ground, my finger were peeling off, blood was coming out, my fingers nails. I don't think I'll be able to dig up to one feet before the whole of my hand will chop off. All this is not possible, but these are punishment. These are sorrow. God talk about the great tribulation. We are already in the tribulation period, like I said, because your question is based on, is it tribulation before the rapture? Is it rapture before the tribulation? We are already in the tribulation period. We remember a woman here in Redeemed Church of uh, God at Abuja came out in the morning to do a morning cry and she was beheaded. Her head was put on top of the Bible, her Bible. She was killed that morning here in Abuja. And if you go to this northern part, like me, I went to Jaws to preach. There's a place they call the northern part of Jaws. I was we were there in the market. I put on my megaphone about to preach the gospel before some men came and stopped us. I said, Madam, stop. We don't allow this in this place. I told them, please, we'll just talk about Jesus. I said, no, 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 no. We should go. We should go. I remember I put up that video for you. Those of you who have been watching my channel, you know what I'm telling you. They did not allow me to preach. And they say, if we are continue, maybe insist that we want to preach, they would have killed us and brought us there. And they will tell their government that we have come to abuse their Allah. And the government will not do anything. It has been happening. So these are the beginning of sorrow. The Bible said these are the beginning of sorrow, but the end is not by and by. We must be afflicted. Jesus told us in Matthew 24, verse number 9, they will hate you. They will afflict you. They will persecute you. They will deliver you to the synagogue to be afflicted for my name's sake. Of course, we are seeing it. A lot of churches in the north, there was a year that churches were burnt, even last year or even early this year. They killed the Reverend Father, they burnt the church. They killed so many people. I don't know if I should say this is a small tribulation. Yes, this is the mini tribulation now. This will continue like this until the rapture itself will take place. In a twinkling of an eye, the trumpet of the Lord will sound. Look at it in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse number 16 to 18. There will be tribulation, which is not the great tribulation, then followed with the rapture. And after the rapture, the lost in Christ will be tormented. We together with those who, who miss the rapture, things will be terrible. The world will be in total darkness after the try after the rapture. Then those who are lost will not experience what is called the great tribulation. The great tribulation will come after the rapture. People who suffered in the hands of the Antichrist, those who live righteous and holy, they have already been cut away together with the Lord on the air. They have left this world. The grace of God is departed. The world is at the mercy of the Antichrist. The great tribulation is going to last for seven good years. It will be terrible. I have seen this in my various revelations of rapture. That each time the rapture takes place, I see people suffering. I see the devil even skinning people alive. There's also one of the revelations of rapture that I received. I immediately after the rapture took place, I saw that a lot of creatures, terrible creatures were released to the earth. Terrible and fearful creatures that their teeth is like iron. They were released to torment people in the earth. This is what is going to happen after the rapture and will last for seven years. Terrible creature like terrible pythons. You will see things like a uh, gorilla. You know, fearful creatures. They were just litter all over the, the earth. These things I'm telling you, they are there in the Bible. There's one of the revelations I saw again where the Antichrist were removing people's eyes for refusing to accept the mark. They were, they were, they were amputating their legs amputating their hands and pulling off their eyes, leaving them to be like that, in pain. 
Some believers say, no, we will not take them out. No matter the pain they afflict on us, they were afflicting them. Some were even skinning their skin like this alive. Beloved, the great tribulation is after the rapture. Please, try to escape this torment. Live holy and righteous so that you will make it to the rapture. You will not be here and be tormented together with the lost in Christ because it's going to be great. Just like the Bible say, great tribulation. It will come after the rapture and it's going to last for seven good years before the Armageddon fight where Jesus will come back to reign here on this earth together with his saints. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 9 verse number 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God during this great tribulation, those people who accept the mark, the Lord will turn them into hell. So this is the little I know about this tribulation before the rapture, rapture and great tribulation. For those of you who have been asking me, uh, Sister Catherine, tell us when, uh, which one will come first. Is it the great tribulation before the rapture? Is it the rapture before tribulation? What I know is that tribulation is going to come first, which we have already started. The trumpet will sound, which is the rapture, will take place. Then seven good years of great tribulation where people will be tormented. Those who are lost, who did not go, who were not raptured, will be tormented here for seven good years. Then the Armageddon fight will take place where the Lord will come down and reign here in Jerusalem. I think I've shared a message like that before last year about the revelation. The Lord showed me how he came down and he was reigning here on earth. And the whole world, those who are saved, were standing before, before him. But the wicked ones already have been condemned to hell. So this is all I have to share about uh, the tribulation, the rapture, and the great tribulation. I pray the Lord will speak to our hearts more in Jesus.